My experience with LA Film. My experience with LA Film has actually, LA Film School has actually been amazing. It's been dope. I have had some challenging classes. I've had some very simple classes. A lot of stuff that I already knew um, in film. Or a lot of stuff that I already knew just in general. I'm being taught like, you know, about images, Photoshop, um, exporting images like a lot of stuff this month is stuff that I already knew that I had taught myself um, I didn't take any classes on it I just I just start I used to do graphic work um, and I actually started out like MySpace and I used to build people's pages for them so I started to kind of learn what codes were and you know the HTML codes and different stuff like that like we all did we copied and pasted and then I would read the code and find what I wanted to change and um, go in there and put an image there or you know, I just understood it. So Yeah, so that's super dope. I mean, I had a writing class, but um, it wasn't Necessarily easy because it was just something it wasn't creative writing I had to like correct punctuation throughout it and it, I think that was the most challenging class for me um, and then Let's see it started out. I think I'm in my ninth month I actually just got my second tech kit. I'm going to be posting a video about that shortly. Like what all is in my tech kit. It is a lot of stuff. And my first tech kit, I was excited about it. I was super just happy, elated. This uh, second tech kit, I was like, first of all, I really wanted my camera. I've been waiting on that Black Magic camera, which I'm going to do a review on as well. Um, but I was just like, dude... <laughs> There was a lot of stuff in there and I guess no one had really prepared me for that. So I want to make sure that I say that. Like there was a lot of stuff in there in that tech kit that I was just like, you definitely need some muscle around you. Once you get your tech kit, you have to check in your tech kit. So don't open up everything. Like they say, wait until you um, get your complete tech kit before you open stuff. And like, yeah, wait until you get your complete tech kit, but also don't open any boxes until you click check in because I opened everything, went through everything and then had to go back and do it again. And some of that stuff is very heavy. Also, certain things weren't in certain boxes anymore because I had moved so many things around. Um, thank God I was able to check in everything. Everything was accounted for and you know, I was good Then there's like these two little bags that they give you keep track of those because I thought some of that stuff was missing and then I later found it and Keep all your stuff in your boxes. Wait till you get your entire tech kit before you start opening stuff I know it's exciting. I did however wait until I had everything like they told me to but I didn't wait until um, look at my daughter pulling up next to me, but I didn't wait to click check in and that's a very important part of checking your tech kit in So make sure you do that. All my instructors have been really good. Obviously different people with different personalities Some people are like, you know better than others, but for the most part Everybody's been pretty good. Do you know what I mean? I, I've had one instructor that I was just kind of like, uh you have an opportunity to help and you're not and I don't like that so um, I did have to challenge a grade before but that's me like I, I have a 4.0 I want to maintain a 4.0 so I'm going to continue to maintain a 4.0 and so when I seen that I may not have you know been able to do that yeah of course I challenged it and I tried my hardest to make sure that I could maintain that so I am an online student. Everything that I do is online. Okay, so I really like that everything that I do is online. Um, I didn't want, that's my brother. <laughs> We're getting my daughter's uh, tire fixed. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to have to show up in person 
and do everything online. I mean, and do everything in person. I really needed a bachelor's degree program that was online and I was searching and searching and searching. And let me just tell you, like the amount of equipment that we get, we literally get everything you need to make a movie. Um, I know someone who is doing the music side, music production. He has so many things off of his first tech kit. It's crazy. I mean, like everything you need. So um, that's what really made me like, I don't know, the school is dope. I'm obviously, I'm going to fly to LA and I'm going to walk because it's my bachelor's degree and I'm, you know, very proud of it. Even though, you know, I am an online student, I definitely want to walk uh, for my ceremony. So I'm going to do that. And um, yeah, that's what really weighed things out for me where I was like, this is the school for me. There's local schools. Like I said, after going to um, school to be an esthetician and doing all that in person, I didn't want to have to turn around and do, you know, go to school in person again and have to lug all that equipment and bring all that stuff with me and do all this every day and all that. No, I love the fact like last night, I washed, I got up, I worked out, I washed clothes at a big laundromat, you know, like I did a whole load, a whole bunch of loads, came home, I got the kids, came home, Bailey had ballet, I worked out, um, again, this was my second workout, I was on the elliptical for an hour, um, I had some fruit, and then I, <laughs> my daughter, <laughs> and then I, um, did three assignments you know i sat i took a shower sat in my bed and did three assignments and that was super dope for me because um those assignments were also turned in a little bit early like it's very easy to keep up on what it is that you're doing you just have to want it you have to just zone in and hone in on what it is that you want and just make time for it but a lot of times mine is either early morning or late at night just because my schedule is so busy I that's when I have a lot of time although I could get most of my work done all on Monday if I wanted to but like discussion boards discussion posts stuff like that you know what I mean um yeah I just then this morning I got up did yoga with the kids then I'm you know gonna shoot this video real quick today is Wednesday so yeah my experience so far has been really good everything has been very easy um, I got my MacBook from LA Film School, which I have like four laptops. I was, I had a hard time like transitioning from, you know, Windows to MacBook, but MacBook is what, you know, Apple is what the industry uses. And once I've transitioned, I can't go back to Windows. That was one of the biggest issues for me is that I was just like, what? I have to learn a whole new system, operating system, which I've been doing since I was like, what, eight? eight years old I mean I was really small um, when I was doing like print shop and you know I used to like print banners and put them all over my room my mom taught me computers so I've always been computer literate but I've always been on Windows except for you know obviously I have an iPhone I like that I have an iPhone in my MacBook and everything is integrated now and everything is connected now and it's all in one so if you're already an Apple person and you already have an iPhone switching over from Windows to MacBook is pretty easy it's way easier than I thought and it's such a dope system one thing I noticed like MacBook um <laughs> why said sad one thing I noticed is that MacBook um uh, when you're doing Windows and you're you know recording a video or you're editing a video it freezes up a lot the biggest thing I could say is that my MacBook has never froze up in the middle of me editing, in the middle of me doing anything. I've never had to restart my MacBook. I've never had to, you know, I'm in the middle of like Adobe Premiere Pro, you know, like that's another thing. They teach you all the software you need. Like when they tell you, you, you have everything you need to make a movie when you leave the school. Um, I already have everything I need to make a movie when I now, but like they teach you all the software like all of the equipment state-of-the-art equipment like all the state-of-the-art software um i know a lot of programs that i was just like oh this is cool so we're doing adobe right now um we i've already learned two programs in adobe or three yeah i've already learned a bunch of them and then they give you the black magic camera which is a super dope camera um and when I look forward to like all this 
classes that I have, you can always see all the classes you have coming up. You see some some of these months I'm going to have, I think in March I'll have two classes in one um, one month. But the thing I love about this is if you get in a class and it's hard for you and you are having a hard time, you only have four weeks of that class. So you won't even acknowledge that this is hard. The first week you're like, okay, this is hard. Second week, you're like, let me try to f figure this out, push through here. Then you're like, I got two more weeks. And then, you know, boom, four weeks flies by very quickly. But if you get in a class that you love, like my current class now, you only have four weeks in that class, you know? So I'm going to hate to get out of this class, but I know that next is cinematography and I'm excited about that. I have, um, I'll, I'll try to include my schedule just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah. You know, there's no downloading anything. You have a meeting once a week. If you can't attend that meeting, you can look at the recording. I haven't ran into an instructor yet that hasn't said it's okay to just look at the recording because, you know, I'm in a different time zone. It's hard for me to log on somewhere at a certain time. That was another thing. Like when I was in school to be an esthetician, we had to sit there and that was nice for that um, stage in my life but now I don't want to sit there and you know during certain times if I can't you know I love the freedom with this school the freedom is crazy and for me to continue to maintain a 4.0 um, throughout this program is very important for me it's also important for like scholarships it's important for um, just a bunch of different things my personal growth <laughs> these birds are like right in front of me I'm gonna try to catch them Look at this. Aren't they cute? They're just like, hello. So yeah, um, anyway, it the 4.0 was important for me for my personal growth. I mean, I've heard in, in people say like, these get degrees. I don't know what that is. It's not like, you know, people look back at your grades and they want to know how you did. It is personal for me. But I've always just been like that. And so... You know, I haven't had a whole lot of interactions with other classmates. We interact through posts. So everyone, you know, for the most part, like we've had to, <laughs> we've had to like, um, you know, create, we created a short film at the beginning, like in the first couple months, we created a short film. So that was pretty cool to watch other people's stuff like that and interact with them through that. But like, besides that, if you're not attending like the weekly meeting you really don't interact with people too much now I would say that it already this has opened me up for so many things like I'm being I'm being trained to it's a bachelor's degree so I'm being trained to be the producer the editor um the writer the um cinematographer like uh the videographer I'm being trained to completely do the entire movie by myself now you do need a team but i can honestly say that like this has opened up my mind so much compared to where it was when i first started and also in the beginning they have you do an exercise where you're like checking out what's around you locally so here in colorado i didn't know there was so many different studios so many different connections so many different avenues and just different things like once you have this degree there's no way that you're not working in the field you know what i mean and so because there's so many different things to do now i'm really good at editing i don't want to edit okay i want to more use my creative mind like the writer producer director those are more my type of things um but i also love to record i love photography i love um uh, videography you know there's like so many different so many different avenues and careers that you can choose once you have your degree and even just now you know like i could go shoot a film right now if i really wanted to hi guys I'm inside the car now. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. There's a nail in my back tire. My back driver's seat and then my front passenger. Do you think someone put it in there? Who? Because of you. Because of me? Not because of me. Guys, my mommy is so special that sometimes people, they can't get enough of her. <laughs> so I think that somebody thought my car was somebody else's car was like a guy's car yeah and you know a nail is fine at least it wasn't slashing my tires 
he said but then uncle donnie he was like okay this one's fine we'll go patch that one up but that one we can't patch that's not saveable <laughs> really don't tell me that i'll tell him when he's out because he's um under the car thingy oh he's under there yeah she's like all the way up there she got lifted up yeah because he's probably gonna have to order a tire for that and that's gonna be like 60 bucks you're so pretty do you have any thing you want to add um i feel like you probably covered everything oh i also got a tablet the first um in my first tech kit i got a tablet i got like some memory stuff i got um my macbook they give you the latest macbook um what else did i get i got a bunch of stuff i mean obviously like i'm paying get back eventually but the fact that like i got it in my school system in my schooling just like when i was an esthetician i got everything i needed to become an esthetician orientation was super cool it was very easy it was laid back it was online everything was online orientation i feel like they answered all the questions that i had also be prepared for orientation they are gonna do like a um like have a pen and paper ready okay because they're gonna you're gonna be playing games and you could win la film school gear which the gear is super dope let me post the gear on here so you can see what I mean. Like the, the LA Film School gear is actually really dope and I want some of it. Even though I know on my channel I wear a lot of my own clothing line, I want all of it. And you have a chance to win that during orientation. So make sure you tap in, get ready to answer some questions, do some research as they're talking, rewriting down what it is and be ready to, to move quick. As long as you have... A stable internet connection you're good but everything just like moves so quick everything is constantly moving and going and I'm constantly growing and learning and um, yeah my next class is cinematography I want to touch base again because I can't wait to see what's coming up next especially now that I have my tech kit like I can't wait to see cinematography it's like cinematography one you know it's like introduction then one two three like it's dope we should make a movie and then post it as a YouTube video so that you can see what type of type of real work you could do with that equipment. Yeah. Because even the first tech kit, you could do a lot with that equipment. Yeah, so. that first tech kit. They do have you use your um, iPad in the beginning to do your movies and stuff like that. So you learn more about iPad than you even knew because there's a lot of stuff I didn't even know the I iPad did. Actually. Um, to film and they go into depth about how to use everything and what to do and... Um, yeah, I'm excited to do that. So I think that's about it. My experience, I would say, would be really amazing. And I would recommend the school to anyone. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching my channel. I am going to get out of here. I think they're almost done fixing her tire. Um, hit that subscribe button. Just go ahead and click subscribe right now. Turn on your notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. I have a bunch of other content that I'm going to do about LA Film. Like I said, I'm going to do like um, Black Magic camera review. I'm going to do an unpacking. I've already done an unboxing. I mean, uh, I've already done an unboxing, but um, it's so much stuff. Like, I'm going to try to go through it very quickly. That's what I'll do. And so you can pause if you, you know, need to. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and look out for more videos that I'm going to be uploading.